but uh, they, they did rather quickly. And that might be all OG needs. Again, he's sitting on an OBS and Sentry right now for Sumail. Wait, more toss again! They got Sumail! They don't have Chrono afterwards, but they might not need it. Mira continuing to control, looking for another round of this. Now, RP gonna get off the mark oh, and collapse! Ball to Beckett! What in the hell? Sumail has a Ghost Scepter now inside the fountain. I don't know if he bought that or not, but figure it out. Usually when OG is in the fountain, it's good. Not this time, as they pull it back down again. No tail dies. Yeah, you want to give him a moonshot, you can go right with them, all right? Oh, joined at the hip, top. joined uh, A different build, setting up with a mechanism, so they don't really have a way to just, like, check the pit for free. <laughs> Other than just, like, sending in Toronto Tokyo and hoping he doesn't get vacuumed or something. It's true. Horn oh. toss. They got him caught. Oh, and it topped him. They pulled him in two. Oh, no. Not like that. OG now looking for more. Seb got to run away. They buy back on top. and walled down. Yadaro, vacuum, chase, Sumail. Thought about the rundown. Still holding Chrono, still holding RP. And that combo of like the horn toss with the lion, and oh. they get him again. Pull him back in, bring him on down. Hookshot, try to salvage it. It's not going to be enough. OG don't have an answer for the mag. Soxa also gets killed. Unbelievable composure and presence of mind coming. They need it for that roster. BKB too, right? I mean, all that damage was magical. He took 382 physical Got damage. Got him again! What? They find him another time, and the chrono down. Collapse the absolute madman. Wow. This really oh. wasn't worth it. No IO save this time, though. That's the danger of the relocate. Nothing to say outside of vision. They don't see him. Now they do. The pullback going to be able to get that skewer. The vision not quick enough. And nothing to say goes down. Now looking for more. Ame has to be careful. Zink you there as well. Oh, Ooh, but Ame nice. with the waveform through it. Brilliant play. And they on this afterwards. Now the chase looking for more. Can they control? Do they have enough for the kill? The terrorize comes out, but he got the strength form off. Faith Beyond jumps away. The steward back. On to two. And the RP. Oh, collapsed it into him again. And look, they're just surrounding him. There's no chance to help. They have, oh. the, they have the shaker, but... There is nothing else left in the tank there for Ame, although trying to TP out, but the stun comes through right at the end. And LGD, another triple kill for Yatoro. But LGD, sensing danger coming their way, will retreat out. Just is he, he going to horn toss mind. him again, Lyrical? Don't, don't tell me he's going to horn oh toss him again. Oh my god, he got him again, Trent! They did it to him as they find the pickoff. Collapse, you're too good. What a smell. <laughs> Unreal. In the Roche pit, nothing to say walks in. Yadaro up front and center. Jeez. Nothing to say, they jump in. There's the control, the damage out. Mapochka's dead, buys back immediately. Yadaro turns to fight, destroys nothing to say. They've got him, caught to the side. Ame in some trouble, hitting from the low ground. How many misses are there? It doesn't matter as they chase him down and kill him off. A great win for Team Spirit as they will find more and more. Unbelievable. Oh, the chase continues. Yaro just chases him down. And Echo afterwards trying to buy a little bit of space. Nothing to say, but can they kill Collapse? Trying to take him down, but no, it won't happen. On the side, Toronto Tokyo will fall. But the big stun afterwards. Yaro moving in. He's big, he's bad, he's Luna trying to kill him off. The fear, the pullback. Collapse, he's got him. ZQ looking dead as well as they turn and hit. Another one bites the dust, but they buy back now. On ZQ, Faith Beyond getting absolutely shredded. Yaro is too big. As they catch him in again, the pushback, they got him caught and gonna maybe find the kill. Nothing to say, down low, dead. Another huge win, Team Spirit. They won't be denied. The Horn Toss catches on to ZQ oh, and Yaro just slaughter. The way they play these fights, they're so in sync with one another. GG oh. is called. They call it a Cinderella story. Well, if the shoe fits, wear it. They oh, like him. Get map control that way. And you know, with these illusions pushing safely, you force the response. Oh, he looks for the jump and collapse. He's not able to get the grab back on. Nothing to say. So nothing to say. Big up a mirror holding him for the logo. The feast gets cancelled by the avalanche. The winter's curse coming to a quick end. And PSG OGD now charging on the base. Both comes crashing down onto Mira. Ancient steel for now onto Yatoro. He's looking to back up and reset inside the base. Toronto Tokyo. He's diving in. Past the tier threes. He's able to take out nothing to say. Look at the remnant over to the side. He's got his eyes over towards Y. Or maybe even more, actually, he's holding on to that, not jumping back quite yet. Some damage being done to the Rex as well. No Kunkka for 40 seconds. Yes, and no Wolf fight. Collapse. Oh, he finds a grab. Jumps in. Drags back on the sky. Up, mate. Q. He's gone for 70. Another man down on PSG LGD. Spirit. They'll keep the push going. 
And you've got to be careful, you know, Collapse is looking for another one. There it is, he's in, dragged back on wide. He just can't stop finding them, Collapse. Every single time, pick off other, pick off. Then it is for them to take down PSG LGD. Yeah, absolutely, and it's reflected in the way that Alm is playing, but he's about to get caught here to the top lane. There's Collapse, in with the horn toss, dropping the RP. The BKB was out in time, he's into the invis, but the physical, is it going to be enough here from this terror blade? Yatoro, he's focusing down Arm. Ready to chase for more collapse. Steering in to close the distance on to Jing Chu. They've caught the sky up. Set up there as well with the cast. They're ready to close up onto Fate Bian as well. They're going for a third kill here. Skewer from collapse. Back into the claws of spirit. Team Spirit has lasted through. Yeah, they gotta make this move. Huge window. Oh, the tower died, so he didn't get the spear. Now we got another BKB. No Ravage mana. one. No mana Ravage two. Perhaps gonna be able to go off, but it's too late. The BKB is going down. Toronto Tokyo gonna be able to turn around, and the Eye of the Storm damage is laying in. They try and get the cookie to get DJ out. Toronto Tokyo, a second round of the arena. They're gonna be able to get the spear this time, and a second round of the Eye of the Storm. Twin barely gets himself away, but the site falls up. Now the Templar Assassin's dead. Team Spirit, they hold things out without Yatoro. And if they can do that much, Sky's the limit. Jab's now going to be dead, oh and that's it. Oh. Putting on a bit of a brave face here, VP. Toronto, Tokyo. Just going to give them a bit of a tickle to start the action off your Toro. He's ready to jump in this class. Immediately with the Ravage, your second Ravage, locking down the four of them as Nightfall, completely out of mana, tried to run away with the BKB. The Arspinal will hold back your Toro for now, but Nightfall, can he really escape? The Medusa down! Even though Roshan is taken, they still feel strong. Yeah, They've they, got these BKBs. Exactly, they have their timing here, and they'll force a fight. They're gonna get the opening, Kaka jumps in with the center on it, Tokyo's gonna just go straight towards JT, in with the BKBs, they're under the time. Oli gets taken out, JT to fall as well. There'll be a buy run from Oli. Blindfly's gonna be the new focus here, Collapse spears him back. Collapse still has the arena to play with if he needs to. Flyfly taken down the ones, Kaka missing the start, arena's out, they've caught them all, Collapse! As he hides in the trees, Toronto Tokyo looking to see if he can get the catch. Quick just eliminate down up the tree line. In fact, oh, but the power shot will see him. Remember the remnant the TP out, Emo. He whoa, he's not gonna make it away. They get him as well. Spirit, they take down everyone. Plus more, it was a dieback from Oli. He's gonna cross the map. The refresh, the refresh, the BKB. BKB. He gets himself away from the glimpse. In he jumps with a wall stomp towards K1. But the physical damage. He's on stuck. Toronto Tokyo, he's dead. Collapse will ravage and catch Stinger and Whisper, but K1 is annihilating them. Mira now in trouble. Yeah, throw goes in. They want K1 real bad. They'll gush him and slap him down with the anchor smash. Collapse and Yatro onto Chris Lock, and he stuns the X with the adaptive strike. A double kill for the Morphling. Oh man, Toronto, Tokyo, uh, as we do have Shard online for Zai, so the Wolves. Mira gets stopped mid. Spawning. This could be a setup for Matu. Okay. Thunderhide is available oh, there. Oh, the four staff four from staff. Matu. But oh, he's going to force so out his BKB. Good. Mira saving or getting cold embrace for now. Pops the shadow remnants up, but there's collapse with the initiation onto Matu. And now the Orchid on top of it. He's already used the BKB. Nice save from Puppy for the time being. But Matu's still stuck in a terrible spot right now. Has to just stand his ground. And there's the terrorize to follow. Big kill for Team Spirit. Looks like Zai is next on their list. And down he goes, Cinderin. Great execution from Team Spirit. Oh my god, I hope we get a replay of that. What an insane force step from Collapse there. High ground defense is there, Team Secret. Oh, Toronto Tokyo goes really deep, and there's a big skewer from Collapse on the two. Good lord, double kill for Yataro. Basically, in just one Echo Saber double slap. Yataro now has a nullifier, so you can dispel Eon Disc. And well, Puppy, he's gonna get the disruption off, gets stuck inside the Bramble, pops the Ghost Scepter preemptively, but he's gonna die shortly after. Great oh, curse. Yep, that's a huge curse on the three heroes as Team Secret gets RP from Collapse, and the right clicks are there from Yataro. Triple oh kill for him, God. making an ultra kill. Will he get another Rampage at TI-10? Absolutely, Yataro does it again, Cinderin. Holy Jesus!
Can they blow up Radiant's this tiny? Oh, is there. BKB afterwards, trying to bring him down. Yutoro off to the side. Mortimer's Kisses coming down afterwards. Hook shot coming through. He's saving this for so long. And now the jump in calls pushback. LOA dead, no buyback. You are trying to do what he can. They jump forward, find the Terror Blade. The Batches, is it going to be enough though? The Satanic Radiant's doing a lot of work. MSS trying attack. to move into position, but, but Collapse keeping him out. The Echo comes, but it's a second too late. They don't have what they need. Quinn runs through, tries to do the damage, but there isn't enough. MSS was just a second too late in taking it down, and now Quinn will fall. They're gonna take you to the heroes. Oh, I, I love that. Right on down the way. No tail is there, but they jump and find the back line, able to catch onto Sumail. That's a pretty good target. Hex afterwards. Yadaro eating up this tiny as Sumail eventually falls. Oh, and they were so close to just running into no tail too. That yeah. would have been so much better for OG if he was the one to fall, but Radiance grabbing oh. the king instead. He has fallen and now collapsed. Well, they might just find no oh, tail anyway. Even gonna drop the hard This is for the laning stage. This is from all the voice lines oh, and the sprays. Damn. Team Spirit putting on a performance here. Showing everything. And did he find him again? Collapse and runs into your, your screen. Seb. What? Just like that, they find themselves, Sam, try and give him a high five and find the kill again. I think he was changing his chat wheel binds. <laughs> he got caught in the trees there. Toronto Tokyo playing that one safe and down bottom, they got a life stealer that OG need to deal with. Throws out that tornado, gets the lift up, the pullback, skewer, catch, Thompson in trouble on the other side. They're also battling it out with Seb. The, the chase is there, and Thompson going to fall. Mira jumps in, gets the finger of death finish. Collapse off to the side. Maposhka not going to be found. They get the skewer, or rather the shockwave, into mm. the kill. The shredder. And why has shown here, too. They know they're all here without Medusa. Oh, God. Go run and hide. Are they slowly just going to get Dude, whittled down this. by the M? This is devastating. Why would you give this BKB out? But the BKB from Collapse, Static Storm, trying to stop this, if at all possible. Disarmed on the Dusa, oh, doing living. nothing. Chase looking for more. Toronto Tokyo wants to run in. It's like fish in a barrel. They didn't stand a chance. Why would you do this to him? Yutar runs in, finds Yuris, going to beat him down. Everybody dead with no retribution. If they wrap around and come down into the jungle of IG. And only Ollie has buyback for Team IG here. They have good high ground. They're in. They get the jump in onto the void. The dude gets shot down. They've found fly by a time lapse. Takes him out of the side. The Kako will save him. Jump from for collapse. He's going to continue to commit. The kisses are coming out. Doom dropped over towards the leader. They've lost. Fly, fly. They'll lose Kakano. And they'll get by the looks of it. They're going to lose more in IG. JC's trying to run Ollie as well. But Mira shoots him straight in the face. Triple. They're finding very small trades across the map, and they are yeah. moving into these BKBs. And, you know, we've had several games now at TI where the BKBs really turn things around. This one's not free. Looking for a jump, but saved immediately. Collapse now turns onto the storm, takes them down. No buyback, 50 seconds. And just like this, the game is blown completely open. Fnatic, they've got to defend without their storm. Another 40 seconds. He's all keeping himself alive as they take down another DJ to fall. Has to buy back on the Ogre, and if you look, just hero after hero keeps on dying from Fnatic. Yeah. Jabs is gonna drop. Now they dead. keep on turning on to more. Toronto, Tokyo, this is an absolute slaughter as they find a boat. Triple kill for collapse. Somebody make it stop. Yeah. GG, they're done. They just let it go. As you see, they're gonna try to contest this tight under. They know the Naga Siren's not present. Let's see what they can do about collapse. Jump already in onto the disruptor. They look at the burst. Collapse is holding on to the ravage for now. Static storms down. Collapse gets himself out of the side. Onto the two, then they blow up all man. It's three down to the bottom of PSGLGD. I am also caught out. GQ to fall. Get all that good stuff. And right now, we're going to see Samus is jump right in, try and blow them all up. Takes that oh, disruptor down in a moment, maybe. Oh, super living. And able to get the stone form, but the turn now. Yuris going to get stunned, popped, beat down. Oh, no. Is it going to be enough, him. though? Chance. Yang. Not able to find that follow up, and now the chase down. One last Mortimer's kisses. Oh, and and blink. he blinked forward to find that Rubik. They still find nothing. He broke his ankles, he jumped over that God's rebuke. There's nothing he's been able to tell a bird for himself. 
jump in on a Raven. They're gonna go for an immediate relocate out. It's fast. Honestly, Jabs reacted about as fast as you could ask him to, but part of the problem being it's level one. So three and a half seconds is a bit too long. They're gonna come back in. Oh, here now. They do manage to set up a bit of a trap here. Catch a Maposhka. Not able to kill him right away. They do have the Earth Splitter that's gonna go out with the Ravage Static Storm as well. All in on the Timber Stop, and he got off the Hood of Defiance, and that's going to change everything. Troll comes in, pops the ultimate, locking down the Timber Saw, and finally they do bring him down. Jabs, regretting bringing himself over here, is going to die as well. Two for two. Where's my team fight recap? It's a little piggy. You can hear the squealing. Yatsuro is isolated up here. TPs are coming very quickly from Spirit, but he juke them through the trees. The Global Silence comes. Chris Lock and Whisper battling with Collapse, but he holds the Ravage as Schofield, and he's demolished by Toronto Tokyo. Now Ravage the Ravage to hit cancel him. a TP. Whisper's caught out on the left-hand side by Chris Lock. Chasing Yatero. Finally, Whisper dies, but this poor, poor Necro. His Reaper Sword does nothing. Quite managed to get the dust. Here. Collapse. Again, buys himself a couple of heroes. And just to land the Ravage over onto three. The arrow coming in right over onto 4DR. Pop that BKB, 4DR taking too much damage. Sun Ray, it was nice, but it's not gonna be enough to steal the core. Already falling, Tavo will have to teleport out in King Jungles. Now they're able to go and land the chains. Dead Phoenix. <laughs> oh, it's all hairy there. Connect onto anybody, and smoke broke th broken. Nothing gained. Ken Chuan pulls it back in afterwards. The silence is there. Pretty good at stopping the Ravage, but the walk away. Oh. The rub it came in at the end of the Ravage to interrupt. Oh, the torrent afterwards falls onto Chuan. He will die. Collapse will live. Devastation in the river. That's where Tide Hunter comes from. As Maposhka also gonna live through that one. Are you kidding me? Pit pull yeah. forward oh. for the body blocks. Death can't even oh, get here away. Here we go. They may be rivals in the lore, but they're best friends here. Tide and Kanka. Oh.